I started in photography at the age of nine years old. And by 12, I had photographed my first wedding. And at 13, had um, began a journey really photographing what is called the American Civil Rights Movement era. Yes, it was one of the most um, enjoyable period of my life to be asked by the State Museum to um, have my pictures uh, exhibited here. So for a young photographer like I think I was at that time, um, it was quite um, exhilarating and uh, very grateful to have my pictures um, being uh, requested by a state agency. One of the photographs I have on exhibit here at the State Museum is a photograph um, of the Chris uh, Five and Dime store in uh, Orangeburg, South Carolina, which in 1960 was segregated. And I photographed, um, in fact, an attempt by the management to keep anyone from sitting down at that time. In 1960, of course, I was a senior at Claflin University, which is my alma mater, and uh, it was very commonplace for us to engage in sit-ins and other civil rights activities all during this period. Not only did I photograph uh, that uh, lunch counter many times, but uh, I also participated in a sit-in where I myself sat down on the lunch counter. And of course, I was refused to be served by the management, but it was a commonplace um, thing for us at the time. We were trying to carve out some of the things that we could do in America at the time. There were so many things during this period of segregation uh, that we could not do. You can't go to a restaurant and sit down. You can't go on a bus or a plane without being in a segregated area. You can't sit at a lunch counter and get a cup of coffee because of the color of your skin. I hope we never go back to that era where that kind of exclusion is made to people just because of the color of their skin. It was a terrible time in America for us as United States citizens to have to bear that cross. We frequently on our special holidays and Easter and Christmas and Thanksgiving had family and friends to come by and visit us at our home in Orangeburg. The photograph I have in the State Museum of, um, I think it's a mother holding a child uh, and sort of um, showing off that baby was taken uh, at my house. But I, I remember it just as it was yesterday. Um, it was not a posed picture. It was one that kind of spontaneously um, happened. I had my camera around my neck and I clicked a few shots of it and that was one of my favorites that is exhibited in the State Museum here in Columbia. I also love that picture uh, because um, I like the composition in it. Um, I'm a minimalist and I like to um, try and always get only in my photographs the storytelling qualities that, of course, um, attribute to that photograph and leave other things out. It was a great pleasure of mine to photograph the great batik artist Leo Twiggs. He and his family have been a lifetime friend of mine. And so when I had a chance to photograph him in his surroundings, it was really a love um, and something that is one of those unforgettable moments that's uh, in your memory, something that you, um, again, can reflect on and remember what an enjoyable time it was to photograph this great American artist. And I am so proud that the State Museum, um, again, continues to exist and flourish.